Water is at the root of so many of the things that we depend on for daily life. Our food supplies, the water that flows into the taps in our houses, and our ability to recreate on all the wonderful river canyons and lakes that we have across the West. Recent droughts have shown us how vulnerable those water supplies are and how difficult it is to really make sure that we can maintain those benefits in a sustainable way. Thousands of people are having to make decisions about water on a daily basis. We need to give them the power and the information to make those decisions. As we try to balance the water resources in terms of not consuming more than what's coming into these aquifer systems, we have to understand how much water use we currently have. One of the biggest challenges in water management has been access to cost-effective, easily usable information on evapotranspiration. Evapotranspiration is the combination of evaporation from the land surface and transpiration from plants. For most crops, evapotranspiration is a key measure of the amount of water that needs to be replaced through irrigation or precipitation to ensure a well-watered, healthy crop with maximum yields. It is one of those most critical variables for decision making for water management and has until now been really difficult to attain. That's where OpenET comes in. OpenET fills a huge data gap for water management and makes evapotranspiration data widely accessible via an online platform for all states across the western U.S. We know we're going to have to use significantly less water, so agriculture has to figure out how to get as much per drop of water as they can. I go online and I can pull up the evapotranspiration numbers so if I put on more water than evapotranspiration I already have in my bank, I can shut off for a couple days, which means a lot if you're putting out several million gallons of water a day. OpenET provides an opportunity to get more relevant data, real-time data. It's really the bird's eye view of what's actually going on on the ground. Evapotranspiration is happening all around us all the time, but because water returns to the atmosphere as water vapor, it's invisible and we can't see it. Satellites give us the ability to monitor evapotranspiration consistently across very large regions using thermal infrared and optical sensors. OpenET is really revolutionary in the sense that for the first time we're able to map water use at the field scale where previously it was just not feasible. Water to our operation means everything. With OpenET, it completely changes our ability to understand what's going on within our fields. The more that we have the science and the data, uh, the more that we'll be able to make good decisions. ET is the real amount of water that is being used by the vineyard. The ET data in some cases will help us detect over irrigation. In other cases, it's gonna help us to distribute better that water along the season because we are able to track the stress. With increasing temperatures, we're having increasing variability with droughts. We also are having longer fire seasons. And so when we begin our forest thinning projects, the trees will become more drought tolerant. Open ET will help us have data to inform how our forests are reacting to those climate change impacts that we're seeing. We're beginning to see that we are all in this together. We need to understand the system better to make better management decisions in a more diverse society that takes into account the needs of a lot broader water community. Making this ET data available to everyone so that we're all looking at the same information is transformative for water management in the West. These are challenging and unprecedented times. We need bold new initiatives like OpenET to solve our water resources problems. It's imperative that we put solutions in folks' hands so that we can continue to enjoy the food that is produced by agriculture across the West and make sure that we have enough water for the people and wildlife that depend on that critical resource.